It's time to get out of the boardroom, or whatever this is, and go find the communications department because we've got a thing to do. I'm gonna guess it's the door that has the, the thing like around it, but just out of curiosity. Okay, so we don't have any outfits. I just thought, you know, we should take a look just to see because, you know, fashion souls is the way to play. So where was the door? I, I spun around too many times. I thought it was right over here. Was it not that one? Uh, I Okay, I'm just going to go this way because I thought this was the way to go. Maybe not. Just looking at the map here. Um, this way? That's where we just came out of, is it not? Oh no, that's the door I was looking for. Got it. So, cafeteria, nostalgia department, communications department, and dead letters are all in this direction. I might need to look at the map. A welcome message. Personal mood, personal mod. Energy boost. What is this one? Energy plus 6%. Uh, I don't know what energy does just yet, so I'm going to say no. We'll... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I do want that, then. Here. Uh, yeah, so we are using the energy boost. I mean, health probably going to be okay. we at right now? Okay, let's go back to the phone first, because I feel like that's going to be the way we're supposed to go, and there should be some interaction over here. Oh no, it's not the phone, it's this guy. And we don't have clearance to get into the room, but I see the whole point of getting in there. Oh, that is just creepy when you look at the gun is to get to that chest, or uh, treasure box, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, hi. How you doing? You weren't there when I walked through just a moment ago. That was uh, not what I was planning for. Okay. I still keep needing to check the controls to see if there's a crouch button. There is! And I found it literally in just the nick of time. That is hilarious. That was so unintentional, and that was amazing. Uh, so can I go through this way? No. I mean, there we go. Now I can. So yes, I can. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? I can indeed go through that way. Okay. Let's go check out the rest of this room first, because it seems like there's more stuff in here. Got a loot box here. Blink. Undefined reading. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, it's more materials that... Hidden trend, undefined reading, and house memory. But we don't have a clearance level for those things, so I don't know what they do just yet. Travel costs. Week 83 report. Visited the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, Inn and Out, Aztec Court, Sleep E Bear Motel, Silver Spurs Ranch, El Gato Blanco Inn, A Plus Lodge. Expenditures, $831.29 in accommodation, $714.84 in meals, $295.12 in gasoline, and $313.61 at the minibar, with an asterisk. The boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. Got it. I do wonder if a motel called, quote, the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state, but hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See on the road, Agent L. Hines. So Hines and Rowley don't want to be in the same room. Got it. Is that a stapler or an altered item? Don't take office equipment outside of the building. Pneumatic tube checklist. Oh, I can almost read it if I could. Oh, yeah, there you go. Place your items in the canister. Add foam padding top and bottom if you're sending blood or other specimens in a glass tube. Check that the canister is properly locked. Place the tube. Place the locked canister in the tube. Check the location code for the destination. Punch in the code and send the tube. 
I love it and I can see that. That's great. Avoid modern technology. The Synchronicity Research Department. There are just so many little details everywhere. This, this reminds me of the Loki show. That's what this reminds me of. I wish I remembered anything at all about math that's more than just general arithmetic. And didn't hate it, because I'm curious what that actually means, if it, if it means anything. So we got some health line around over here from the dude that we shot. Hi, buddy. Sorry about that. I mean, sorry, not sorry. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to guess that's probably the way to go. And yet, maybe not. Maybe this is the way to go. Yeah, that's going to be the way to go. So let's go this way first. Okay. Maybe let's not go that way. Okay. Yeah, so we were supposed to go that way, so we could learn that we're not supposed to go that way. Excellent. Lesson learned. Let's start fighting. Okay, I'm gonna get around a corner here. So I can figure out where everyone's coming from. Hi, buddy. Your head is just, like, framed awkwardly. Look at that. Your head is just kind of, like, bobbing around and stuff. Oh, hi. There's a wall in the way, apparently. Um, you don't want the gun. Got it. Anyone else? Hi, how you doing? Kaboom! I do like the punch. Punch is great. So we picked up some more stuff here. Bye-bye. And there were some uh, loot things down here, including a shelter. Let's see if we can open that guy and see if there's anything in there. I've got some reading material there. The Havana Summary. Oh my. So it doesn't... Oh wow. That just straight up drains your health. I wasn't paying attention to that. Okay. So we can't really get in there just yet. Oh, and unfortunately there are not any more health thingies lying around here. Well, that's going to be a problem. Okay, let's go back up this way. Maybe there are a few up here still. Hmm. Huh? Oh, I should have switched to the other thing that gets more health on pickup, but I didn't stop in time and just figured out. Eh. I'm committed. All right, let's let's look at our collectibles. The Hiss Resonance Field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. This is compiled by Emily Pope by the order of director Jesse Faden. Faden? I don't remember how she said her name now. Hiss barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. Destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity, or destroy the Hiss entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of the Hiss resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of Hiss resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the hiss? What about the very act of building walls to prevent our movement? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to file redacted for full report. Let's check out the Havana summary uh, from 2017. An auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. Redacted deaths were reported and the outgoing information has been managed. The response, Bureau agents revised and arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been redacted. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise, accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for redacted minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off and the embassy staff were transported to the continental US. After Formula I-9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. See case file AI-85 
for details. So there was an altered world event in Havana. Oh, is it Havana? Havana? I don't know how to properly pronounce that, so my apologies to everyone who's offended by my terrible pronunciation. Let's hope I don't have to pronounce anything Finnish because, oh boy, that's going to be just bad. This is where I'm hoping we can use... Nope, we cannot use that first aid cabinet. That would be very helpful, but a no. So we got more materials, which we can't really make anything out of. Let's go check this bathroom. There's a thing in here. Unstable area notice. Please be aware, due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, the area stability has been downgraded to yellow. Here's a handy reference chart. Green, stable. Yellow, low possibility of unanticipated building shifts. Orange, high likelihood of unanticipated building shifts. Red, frequent unanticipated building shifts. All I can think about right now is, I don't know that those colors are very good for anyone who has color blindness of any variation or some variations. So I want to open this again just to see. Now it's still, it's still wonky in there, so I guess we're not done. I was kind of hoping that maybe we discovered something and it was okay now. Well, hello. My bad. Okay. We're just going to leave that for now. It's it's okay. Let's go this way, because this, I think, is the way we're supposed to go. Well, I want to go up here first before we go to the way we're supposed to go, just to see. Nothing over here. All right. Let us run this way toward something. Oh yeah, this is definitely the way to go. Dead letters. Machine God. I had a dream and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God. But not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. Well, that's not weird at all. Not weird at all. Like this whole game is not weird at all, okay? It's all very, very normal. And all just highly expected stuff. There's a treasure loot chest thing over here. It's very dark, by the way. Can't really do anything about that. It's just dark. You're just going to have to deal with it the same as I am. Ooh, singing fish. Mr. Governor, I called the police, but they never came to my house. I got a problem and got... And you got to send folk to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button. But it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. It says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of the fish, and you got to come handle it. My wife is real upset. When can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. Dwayne does not have a high school education. Or at the very least, is a terrible spieler, because holy moly boy. Them some words. Oh, there's a Rolodex. Check that crap out. And that old school computer. Trench dead letter of approval. To Z Trench from P. Bartwell. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the dead letters archive. Catalog the cataloging. The Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. 
Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. The letters come to us from various places and times, gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the erroneous ones allow us into insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connection to AWEs and other altered materials. So, thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. P. Bartwell. One P. Bartwell is uh, very happy about dead letters. I, sorry, I kind of broke everything there. Do as you're told, don't eat mold. Even the smallest amount of mold can cause serious harm. Contact security immediately. Why is there mold around here? And what's the deal with that? That guy has armor, I assume. Duck! Duck! That button. Ah, crap. Uh, I hadn't reloaded yet, I guess? Alright, let's try not to die this time. Duck. Duck. I guess I had emptied the magazine entirely and I needed to wait a second for it to reload. Because it was emptied, it, it didn't have anything in it at all when I was trying to fire? I don't know. Not entirely sure what happened there. keep wanting to hit R to reload, but it doesn't do anything in this game. Or at least, not so far. Let's check out what's going on over here. Let's work hard. His life is in your hands. Everyone's safety depends on you. Go ahead and open up this bad boy here. What we got? More reading material that we cannot do anything with. Okay. This door is locked. So there are lots of shifts going on over there, I guess. That's how I'm supposed to interpret that. Got more reading material, apparently. An undefined reading, not reading material. I know. Just saying. Look at all these files. Well, this is wild. And there's a box up there. That would be a grenade. That would be a punch. Ow. You're not dead. Let me fix that for you. Okay, we need some health. Apparently, I just need to run the... Uh, nope, wrong button. This one. That one all the time. And that'll give us 20% more health. Oh, we can clear the control point, I believe, now. But I want to grab all this stuff first before we do that. I want to make sure we're all nice and healed. There we go. I don't know that 6% extra energy means anything. How can I get that? I mean, I need some... I need some telekinesis. I need some telekinetics. And I, I don't... Oh, interesting. I can interact with that. I guess just walking up to him? No? I'm hitting F? I don't know. Okay. Well, I would like to climb up this. Oh, did I really do that? That's hilarious. Um, okay, so we got to the box. Excellent. A health boost. Let us look at that. Um, <laughs> so we can have 15% more health. More health recovery per element pickup plus 20%. Or we can have 6% more energy. I'm going to stick with what we got for right now. As long as I'm not a terrible player, I think we're fine. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and lens this point, then. Man, I love that. That is so good. That looks just killer as it does that. It's the building shifts. 
So that should give us a fast travel point now. So that gives us... Yeah. Cleanse control points to gain fast travel sites throughout the oldest house. Thank you. I had, in fact, determined that as well. Let's go over here to these doors, because these are open. Or at least this one is. Introduction to Paranatural Topics. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. <laughs> Well, okay then. It's interesting because you have the technology is so old in here and you have the signs like, like this one right here, avoid modern technology. That's an old CRT TV there. I don't know. It just makes me wonder what in the world is going on here. If we look at our map, we're still trying to get to the communications department, which it says is that way. And then I want to look over here really quickly to see what we've got going on over here. This is to Central Executive. So this should be the way we came in, right? It just looks different because it's, you know, bright-ish and not red everywhere and there are not things jutting out across all the walls. Although this is some wild architecture. I'm not quite sure what the deal is with this architecture. It's something to behold. But I think that's where we're going to leave it right now, is we will get to the communications department on the next one as we continue our play through Control. Catch you now until then. Thanks for watching. See you later.